Hello, all your sons. I'm going to discuss chain problem from INPHO 2019. It's a very good question of uh, variable mass dynamics. The question that you can see on your screen states chain of length L and uh, linear mass density hangs from a horizontal support with the both ends A and B fixed to the horizontal support as shown. The two fixed ends are close to each other. At time t is equal to zero, the end is released. All the vertical distances x are measured with respect to the horizontal support with the downward direction taken as positive. A and B are initially at x equal to zero. There are five, six parts of this question. So let me uh, first explain actually what is happening. So actually, uh, this is the chain initially. The both hands are the on the same horizontal level and they are very close. The total length of the chain is L by 2. So now at t is equal to 0, the end A is released. And after some time, the end A has fallen a distance x as shown in this the second diagram. So if uh, I've drawn this line from the level from the bottommost level of the chain and at the initial level, now this is the extra length and this extra length is equal to the length fallen so this length the, this extra length that is the below this line this total length must be equal to the uh, length fallen and the length fallen is x so this is x by 2 and x by 2 so this length must be x by 2 like this so if if this is x by 2 this is l by 2 so this length must be l plus x by 2 and since total length is L, so this is a L minus this length. So that length will be uh, L minus X by 2. Now I uh, proceed to take the uh, parts of the question one by one. So in the part A, they are asking the obtained momentum of the central mass of the system when the and A has fallen by a distance X in terms of X and speed X dot. So basically what they mean the momentum of the whole system so we have to find the uh, momentum of the system it is given that downward direction is a positive support left side of the chain has a mass m1 and the right side of the chain has mass m2 so uh, we know that the total momentum of a system is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 a summation of mv so this whole part Suppose just for the sake of argument that this part has a velocity u and actually this velocity is zero because all this part from B to C this is at rest. So this V1 is zero and the velocities of all points of the part AC is zero. So suppose this velocity is a V2 and actually this V2 is x dot what is given. X dot is the x is the position of A. So the rate of change of position of A is the x dot and that is the velocity of N A. And uh, whatever is the velocity of N A, that is the velocity of all these points from A to C. So the momentum is a straightforward thing. So I will write momentum M1 V1 plus M2 uh, V2. This V1 is 0. And M2 is how much? M2 is uh, linear mass density to length. The part AC has a length L minus X by 2. So the mass will be lambda into L minus X by 2. And this V2 is X dot. So that's what the momentum of the whole system when the and A has fallen by a distance X. That is lambda L minus X by 2 X dot. And this thing we will use later also. In the part B, they are asking, uh, suppose that they assume that the end is falling freely under gravity. So the acceleration of end is x double dot and that acceleration is g. So this end is falling under gravity, assuming that. So we have to find tension t of the fixed end just before and the uh, chain completes the completes the fall. Becomes uh, just before the chain completes the fall and becomes entirely vertical. So what I will do, I will find the tension as a function of x and when it is just going to become vertical, the x will become l. So we'll put value of x to be l. So we'll find the tension at that moment. But before that, I want to write the tension as a function of x. So for that thing, uh, let me draw the FBD. So here the tension is t. Actually, only two forces are acting in the ground frame and then there it's weight mg. Uh, we have to take downward direction positive. So I will write the Newton second law for this variable mass. So that will be simply uh, F external is equal to uh, D by DT of that whole momentum. 
So F external is uh, simply mg minus T and d by dt of momentum momentum of the system we obtained this lambda l minus x by 2 x dot so lambda l minus x by 2 x dot so come here mg minus t lambda by 2 take outside differentiate this using product rule so first differentiate the second thing l minus x as it is and derivative of x dot is x double dot plus uh, 0 minus x dot into x dot that is what the derivative is and this mg is um, total mass total weight total mass is lambda into l so lambda lg minus t and let me just simplify that whole thing so that will be uh, lambda by 2 l x double dot minus lambda x by 2 x double dot and minus lambda by 2 x dot square so this t will be t will be lambda lg plus lambda by 2 x x double dot plus lambda by 2 x dot square and um, that thing will be minus minus lambda by 2 l x double dot so we will use this expression letter also so this is my equation 2 this is a general in at a, as a general function of acceleration general function of velocity as a general position this is the tension at b so now they have given that this x double dot is g mean the acceleration of this end is g and this end has fallen freely uh, initially from rest it has fallen uh, distance x so the velocity of this end x dot will be uh, root 2 gx and the, whatever is the velocity of this end is the velocity of that whole part so in place of x dot square that is the velocity square i will write 2 gx in place of x double dot that is the expression I, I will write g so let me write that so uh, this t will be lambda lg plus lambda x by 2 into g plus lambda by 2 x dot square velocity square that is a 2 gx and minus lambda by 2 l and that is again g so let me simplify all this thing this thing and this thing will become a uh, lambda by 2 lg and this thing and this thing will become 3 by 2 lambda xg so if i take uh, lambda by 2 g common so what i'm going to get i'm going to get uh, l plus 3x so that is a that is tension as a general function of x and now when the chain will become vertical almost vertical so x is equal to l so if x is equal to l if i put it x equal to l then tension will become that will be 4l so that will be 2 lambda lg and that is what the tension will become so uh, part b is in now let's go to the part c but see now they are saying that the result that we have obtained in this result we had assumed that uh, each end is falling under gravity the right end is falling under gravity but because the one chain that it falls so it will hit the other link so they are saying practically this result is different than the result that we obtained is different than the practical result experimental result. and that is correct because uh, we assume that the and uh, right hand will fall under gravity but that will not exactly fall under gravity so to find the uh, tension we are they have uh, directed us to adopt a different uh, approach and that approach is the approach of the conservation of mechanical energy and uh, whatever we are going to do and they are giving the steps and uh, the the two three parts of the steps to find the same thing the tension but by doing the different approach so on that approach uh, in the option c we have to find the potential energy of the chain 
and as a function of x and potential energy of the point here at this support level is zero so okay the fine we will convert this two parts of the chain as a point masses and then using point mass and the formula of the potential you will find so for the part bc the total mass of this part i will put say this part has a mass m1 so i will put the all the mass at the center mass of this part and this part will have a center mass at a distance l plus x by 2 by 2 so this distance will be l plus x by 4 and here i will put mass m1 that the mass of the this part bc and similarly the center mass of this part this total length this total length is l plus this total length let me write in rough this total length is l minus x by 2 so center mass is somewhere here at the midpoint of this and that part would be half of l minus x by 2 so that will be l minus x by 4 and then there is a more x so if i add x so that will be l plus 3x by 4 so the right part has a mass say m2 and this mass m2 is at a distance l plus 3x by 4 so potentially of this whole chain uh, taking uh, this horizontal level, the support level as a zero potential level will be uh, u is equal to minus m1 g into l plus x by 4 and minus m2 g l plus 3 x by 4. This m1 is equal to uh, lambda into this length and this m2 is equal to lambda into this length so you can write that value so that plus minus g common m1 is uh, from both m1 m2 lambda will also come out so here minus g lambda so m1 is actually lambda l plus x by 2 this is l plus x by 4 minus this length is l minus x by 2 l minus x by 2 and l plus 3x by 4 calculations so here i am taking 4 outside so minus g lambda by 8 that is l plus x whole square l square plus x square plus 2lx that will be plus so plus this thing l square minus 3x square plus 2lx more simplification minus g lambda g by 8 uh, 2l square minus 2x square plus 4lx so i'm writing here u finally so that u will be u as a function of x u as a function of x will be uh, take two outside so lambda g lambda g lambda by 4 x square minus l square minus uh, 2 lx is a potential energy and then we have to plot the uh, this potential energy graph okay so let me plot here so write ux again ux is how much uh, g lambda by 4 x square minus l square minus 2 lx that's what we had obtained fine so this is a um, uh, prime of z this is a parabola and the coefficient of x square is positive so this is going to be an upward parabola I want to find the potential energy at the end point. So at end point at x equal to 0, I put x equal to 0 here. So that I'm going to get minus uh, g lambda l square by 4. And at uh, x equal to l, 
this part will become zero so that will be minus g lambda l square by four i also want to know the vertex of that parabola so for the vertex at the vertex the local minima will be there so du by dx is zero so du by dx is zero at 2x minus 2l is equal to 0 mean x equal to l is the vertex so now the graph is very straightforward so graph is this is going to be an upward type of parabola and x equal to l is a vertex so the mathematical graph of this parabola would be something like this this is a parabola and this is at x equal to l so suppose this is my x axis and this is my u axis. This is a point of local minima. So this is x equal to 0 and this is x equal to L. So graph is only up to here. The graph is only up to here. Only this much graph is available. And here the value of u that we obtain that is x, x equal to 0. This is a minus lambda uh, g L square by 4. And this is minus lambda g l square by 2. That's what the graph will look like. And then using that expression, using energy conservation, we have to find the speed x dash of the end A when it has fallen by a distance x. So for that thing, we will apply the conservation of mechanical energy for the whole chain. So apply conservation of the mechanical energy for the whole chain. So for that, we will write um, kinetic energy at x equal to zero initial moment or rather kinetic energy at x equal to x at position x when the end A is fallen by distance like means potential energy as a function of x is equal to at initial moment when x was zero kinetic energy and initial moment when the u was zero when x was zero potential energy. Initial moment x was zero, k was zero everything was at rest and this at initial moment x equal to zero we had obtained this thing and uh, kinetic energy for the whole system we have to write so once again suppose this part has a mass uh, and this this and is c this part has a mass m1 this part has a velocity v1 and obviously velocity v1 is zero and this part has mass m2 and this velocity v2 is x dot so the whole kinetic energy of the system is only because of the part AC because part BC has a no velocity. So that will be half the M2. M2 is the lambda into length L minus X by 2 into velocity square that is X to the square. And U as a function of X, U as a function of X is this G lambda by 4 x square minus l square minus 2lx and here u as a, at x equal to 0 uh, was minus g lambda l square by 4 let me check it again yes so few things will get cancelled so this part g lambda l square by 4 and here g lambda l square by 4 that whole thing will get cancelled so this thing is going to be lambda l minus x by 4 x dot square and i'll take all those, those things on this side so lambda g by 4 this l square has got cancelled so on going to this side that will become 2lx uh, minus x square and here lambda will get cancelled 4 is going to get cancelled so x dot square will become g 2lx minus x square divided by l minus x all right and uh, yes and then this x dot that we have to find that this thing will also be used so i think that equation was two and let me write this equation three 
this is my equation for that i will also use letter so x dot the velocity will be square root of g to lx minus x square divided by l minus x fine so now in part e we have to obtain tension tx at b as a function of x and related quantities you are advised to simplify your expression as far as possible so uh, initially in the i think in the part b here uh, we had find uh, tension as a function of x and this was the expression here we had not compromised anything after this uh, expression we had assumed x double lot to be g which was actually incorrect so up to here is correct so this thing will take uh, whatever we have obtained here that i will take there so basically this is nothing but once again mg minus t is equal to um d by dt of the whole uh, moment of the system and just simplification so let me write that there so this is what so uh to buy, uh, get that we have to find x double dot and for that thing to get x double dot i will need to write x dot square that we had obtained here x dot square is this that is a g 2lx minus x square upon l minus x g 2lx minus x square divided by l minus x let me differentiate this thing both side by with respect to t if i differentiate this with respect to t first i will get twice x dot and then once again this now differentiate this x dot that will be x double dot that is a speed and this is velocity acceleration the same thing i have to do here if i differentiate this thing with respect to time so the denominator will become l minus x whole square g is here and this term differentiation will be 2l minus 2x and then multiply by the denominator l minus x and minus this 2lx minus x square as it is and denominator differentiation is uh, minus 1 and then uh, this was differentiation with respect to x now differentiate x with respect to p that will be x dot this x dot and this x dot is going to get cancelled so uh, we are going to get and the, the that was ten tension so x double dot two here you can take two common so g if i take two common so that is a l minus x whole square and here minus 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 plus plus 2lx minus x square and this is l minus x whole square so if i simplify further i will get x double dot and this two so that will be okay just let it be like that g that will be two plus two lx minus x square divided by l minus x whole square so x double dot is going to be g 1 plus 2lx minus x square upon l minus x whole square so now to finally find the tx at b as a function of x we have to put this x dot square here and x double dot here so go to next page so x double dot we obtained this and x dot square we had obtained this and t in part 2 we obtained this and just putting the value and the simplifying this thing and uh, it will take a lot of time so i have calculated here and that then you will get t as a function of this and in the next part we have to sketch qualitatively tx versus x and for the plot uh, what we need to see we need to see just the values at x is equal to 0 and x equal to l so if i see i take the value at x equal to uh, 0 the tension will be this thing will be uh, once again g lambda g l by 2 so that will be lambda g l by 2 we are tending different thing this thing will be 0 this thing will be 0 that uh, this 4 and 2 
and at x is equal to l t will become how much x is equal to l t will be tending to infinite so the plot of t versus x is going to be something like this this is x and suppose this is x is equal to l and this will become asymptotically high and this value is lambda g l right that is the all parts of this question done thank you